Howdy, folks. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I have a good feeling about all of you listening. Well, you know what that means, folks. Time for some news. Refugees at Bitter Springs are giving startling accounts of the legate known as Lanius, who is said to be Caesar's top field commander. One refugee told us the legate took over an underperforming squad of troops by beating its commander to death in full view of everyone. The legate then ordered a tenth of his own force be killed by the other nine tenths. And you thought your boss was a pain. Moving on. A package courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. That's all for now. This is Mr. New Vegas saying, I'm just no good without you. You know, a smart person would probably test out their new recording configurations before they decide to go headfirst into a full episode. Lucky for each and every one of you, I am not a smart person. Welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we made it to the wintry wonderland known as Jacob's Town. We met Marcus, one of your companions from Fallout 2, who is very happy to see, see again. you. Okay, Veronica. And we are here to help Rex get his old brain fixed and get hopefully get him a new one. Now, I might as well go into a bit of detail of what's been happening as to why this particular part has been taking so long. And knowing my luck, this recording's also going to crash and it's going to end up having to be sometime in, like, June or July before this actually comes out. But, what happened was I recently tried to switch over to HDMI because, well, seeing as how this is the 360 version of Fallout New Vegas, I wanted to... You know, make things look a bit better because, to be honest, past videos haven't always looked their best. Although, I really do appreciate all the, like, the support that this series has been getting. I always try to, you know, give you guys the best experience, give you the best v visuals and stuff. Well, Another human. I tried... One was enough. Excuse me, I'm talking. I tried to get a, this part out. It was relatively successful. And when I went to go process the video and put on my editing software, every single time I did it, it crashed the software. So I'm like, oh crap, did I have to reinstall this thing? Was it, was it the software's problem? No, apparently the HDMI was the problem, so I have to go back to composite until I can figure out what the true issue is. But, for now, hopefully everything's going straight. We are in the Jacobstown Lodge. We got ourselves a new slow, snow globe. I almost said slow globe. It sounds like the new evolution of the Slowpoke family. It's Mount Charleston. 2,000 caps right in my pocket. We also have a Nightkin here. His name is King. He is a dick. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Do you have a problem with humans? Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. You know, you could really be a dick and just stare silently at him. Eh. As much as I am a dick, I'm not too much of a dick. What makes you different from some humans? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil. And you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Who's the other human you mentioned? Dr. Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. And what do you do here? I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. Yeah, some elite group of super mutants you are if you can't even stand being stared at. Uh, why are the Nightkin here in Jacobstown? The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Oh, poor you. All right. Okay, Fuck. to be fair, I can't object because I am somewhat of an impatient person. It's a bad habit. But, Dr. Henry, there you are. Prim has a new sheriff. 
That should keep the powder gangers away. Oh, you heard about my exploits down in Prim. That's good. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come see you. Something is also wrong with my controller because it keeps disconnecting. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Uh, yeah. About the Legion. Hell no, I'm not using a Fiends dog, because that's just asking for trouble. But the Legion, uh, I don't think that's going to end up well, because they're kind of pissed at me. Alright, well, what are you working on, at least? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth feel. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Well, maybe I can help. What do you need me to do? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big hornets to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Ah, okay. Well, what makes you think the Night Stalker's mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local night stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that night stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. All right. And why is the Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Alright, well, does it hurt humans? It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nightkin. Huh, some elite group of super mutants they are. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Hmm. Well, I think there might be more grand accomplishments for you in the future, Doctor. Just, just a possibility. Alright, first things first, I'm going to sleep in the bed because my health is super low, so I wanted to heal up and I didn't want to waste a stim pack. And Veronica, I love you, girl. You've been... Very, from somewhat decent with me be punching things in the face sadly I gotta let you go temporarily I will come back for you after this at blah, 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 after this adventure comes to a finish what do you think of Mr house I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves um creepy that's what I thought of him um uh, it's time for us to part ways temporarily of course uh, we should just right now okay then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. Oh, don't have that attitude. I'll come back and get you in a little bit, girl. Uh, because we want to come over here. Because, lo and behold, even though we just got Veronica as a companion, we have ourselves a new companion. Hello, Lily. Jimmy? Little Jimmy? My, how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit your grandma. Uh, who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. Uh, you don't have lips. You're nothing but teeth. I don't want any sugar from you, please. I, oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? Uh, what are you doing, Jacobstown? 
I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. You know, I ran into a couple of big horners on the way to New Vegas and on the way up here. I don't like them, although they explode really well. I'm looking into the Night Stalker mutation. Want to come along with me? Ooh, those Night Stalkers always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. And Lily is giving us Stealth Girl. I don't know what that does. I think it uh, Stealth Boys last longer. Let's have a look see. Shall we? Perks. While Lily is a companion, the duration of Stealth Boys is increased by 200%. Wow. And all sneak critical attacks do an additional 10%. So basically, if you're a sneaking character or have a sneaking build, she's probably the best companion for you to drag along with. So, the Night Stalker's little, like... Uh, Nest is all the way up in those mountains over there, so we got a bit of a walk in. Oh, hello, Marcus. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Uh, how have they been harassing the town? Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Are you sure they work for the NCR? That doesn't sound like them. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Whoever they are. They want us dead or gone. Hmm. Well, why not just take them out? Not looking to fight. That'll give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. All right, then. Well, what do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Always relying on me to solve everyone's issues in the Wasteland. I am the Wasteland Messiah, after all. Lily, I don't think they'll take kindly to a super mutant coming up to us. Well, Nightkin to be exact, but still. So, I'm going to let you stay right here. I don't know if they actually do attack you if you take Lily with you, but eh, just a precaution. We got guys in metal armor. We got someone in combat armor. Are you looking for trouble, buddy? Our business is with the muties, not you. Hmm. Go away, or you'll have to deal with me, and you'll wish you were fighting super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Can I, can I get that in writing with your sh short, short, short hair and your beard? That is the worst combination ever. These guys are decked in, like, full metal armor. There's some guy sneaking up there. I think there's a guy sneaking up in the woods over there. Alright, well, that little distraction has been settled. Lily, time for you, you to rejoin us. Alright, dear, let's... Marcus, problem is solved. Something on your mind? Uh, you won't have any more trouble with those mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. All right. Well, that's good. Small boost in experience, so of course, why not get it? Just need the 65 speech to pass, which I have hell of a lot more than that 65. But for now, it is time for us to walk into the wintry wonderland of Jacobstown. I really do like this place. Not only because, well, it's a good change of scenery from all the drab, dreary, that is yellow and death, that is the Mojave Wasteland, but I don't know. I, the only time I've ever seen snow is in Fallout Tactics, and to be honest, that game didn't age well, but that's just me, and I have the... Yeah, the quest isn't said. Who I saw today? Well, I hope I can see some Night Stalkers. But as I was saying, Fallout Tactics eh, didn't age well. In my opinion, that is. I don't know, I just never really got fully into Tactics. And I might as well talk about the fact that recently I actually got Brotherhood of Steel, the one that everyone considers to be the worst Fallout game ever, and the fact that it was so bad it was cut from canon. To be honest... It's not as bad as everyone says it is after 
fully experiencing it. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. But not as bad as everyone keeps telling that it is. And I gotta give it some merit for being like the first ever co-op game in the Fallout series. Hell, I might even be inclined to make it into a series if I can actually Shanghai someone into accompanying me so we can show off the co-op. But, I don't know. What I do know is we got Night Stalkers to deal with. And they're invisible. And they're right there! And anything on you, Night Stalker tail, and blood. Nope. I gotta tell you, I love Night Stalkers. They're probably one of the coolest, like, wasteland creatures that the Fallout series produced. I don't know, I just like the design of them so much. Wait, what? Ah, that was weird. Alright, so which way was it to get to the goal? I think it was this way. But yeah, Night Stalkers, one of my favorite, like, wasteland creatures that this game ever created. I wish we'd see more of them, and not just in this game, but sadly, I don't think we ever will. I mean, I'm sure there will probably be a mod for, like, Fallout 4 or something that puts Night Stalkers into the game. There can also be a mod for me not having to deal with this damn controller every dying on me every 10 seconds. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, that was just bones. They actually scared the hell out of me. We got eggs, so that's a Night Stalker nest. I think I went the wrong way. I definitely went the wrong way. I was supposed to go this way, I believe. Because I remember where I need to go involves water. There we go. There is the water I was looking for. If I remember right, I think a Night Stalker or two ambushes you up ahead, so I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. Thankfully, Thump Thump here is really good at clearing out Night Stalker. What the hell? When was this here? I don't remember seeing a metal door every time I came in here. I have to come back and check that out when I upgrade lockpicking a bit, because that's weird. Alright, well... Time... To... Blow up, Night Stalkers! I think that was a bit of overkill. Anything on you? Just some blood. Nope. Well, I do know one thing that I can get. And that is... Not a big horn corpse. This overly mut mutilated body of a Nightkin. What I want to get... Is oh baby! Our first super sledge and the shoot on stealth boy. Nail board, nah, don't need it. But we found the deal with the Night Stalker's mutation. I swear to god, these bones keep making me jump because it sounds like a Night Stalker's sneaking up behind me. Lily! Grandma's got a present for you! And I got a present for you too. Here. Where is it? There it is. Hold this. Lily's actually really good with unar well with melee weapons because that's like one of her tags. So, given her that, since it's like a super sledge, but then even better than that, plus that high melee skill, yeah, she's a force to be reckoned with. Lily, that targeting is always a viable option. Nope. Hopefully this hits. It hit. I blew myself up in the process. No, but oh god, there's a lot of night stalkers. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, come on. Come on. Is that enough? Alright. So, our exit is over here, hopefully. And up here. And that's just a drop back into the cavern that was that area. But, hey, check it out! This looks familiar. Um, this way. I was, about, I was getting a little bit turned around. Actually, you know what? 
gonna sleep next to the skeleton and the, all these like dead night stalkers. Eh, it seems like a cozy place to take a nap at. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I did last time. I'm not gonna go straight back towards the lodge to, you know, give Doc Henry the news about the Night Stalkers. What I'm going to do now is head to the Gibson Scrapshirt. Not Sloan. There it is. Because if you remember right, uh, Gibson was one of the viable candidates so we can get a new brain for Rex. So I kinda wanna get that quest out of the way so that I can Hopefully get enough experience to upgrade my science a bit so I can pass the check. The check's not, like, really viable for the, like, completion of the quest, but, eh, what can you do? Gibson! Don't worry, I don't have Boone with me, so you're safe. I do, however, have a faulty controller I really need to replace, because holy hell... Do I have anything that can affect my um, barter? Repair, energy weapons, survival, lockpick. What was my lockpick at? Lockpick is 50, 60. Was it 60 or 70? No, it was 75 for hard, so I, even if I had it, I couldn't, you know, use it. Alright, well, let's see. Um, speech 10, science, medicine, melee weapons, sneak. Nope. Alright, I guess I have to pay the full amount. Hey. So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Doc Henry sent me. I need a new brain for my cyber dog. Dr. Henry? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Ray's like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. Sadly, if I had 70 barter, I could possibly... Uh barter her down for less caps. Do I have anything to... No. Alright. 700 caps it is. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. Uh, that just depressed me. I mean, it's... I know it's good to, like, save old Rex here, but still, that kind of depressed me. I have a dog. I love him so much, and just... that The way she called him over just... Eh, rubbed me the wrong way. I don't like it. Yeah. All right, so we're back in the Jacobstown Lodge. Uh, Doctor Henry, I have a brain. Is there something else I can? Do? I have a new brain for Rex. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. The brain is from Ray, one of old Lady Gibson's dogs. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. All right, sounds good to me. Transplant Ray's brain right into Rex. Have a seat. This will take a while. Rex has gained the faithful protector perk, increasing his attack damage. That's good. Wow, it took so long that, after just done talking to him, it transitioned to day! And hey, I leveled up. Alright. Now, what do I want to level up? Hmm. Alright, so I decided to put 10 in the science and 5 in the speech so I could give those a nice 70 and 80. And I just decided to put the one-off point right in the medicine because, well... Um, should I put it into repair? Eh, medicine's lower. I want to get that up to at least 50 so I can pass the check for Eddie. So there we go. Alright, now thing one is to do, just because I want to play it safe, Programmer's Digest. Henry? Is there something else? I found the cause of the Night Stalkers. 
Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Why Lily and not some other Nightkin? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. And what are the risks, exactly? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark IIs never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll talk to Lily. I'll be waiting. Lily, you got a job. Heavens to Betsy, but Mr. Benny met a nasty end. I hope you've realized, Bumpkin, that crime doesn't pay. Indeed, Lily, indeed, or else it puts a silenced pistol to the back of your head and blows your brains out, even though shooting you in the back of the head causes your arm to fall off. Oh, well. Uh, do you mind... Do you still want to help Doc Henry run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. Good girl, Lily. Doctor? What are you doing to your assistant, Doctor? I, I mean, I know she looks almost as old as you, but holy hell, man! Alright, go ahead and start the test. Very well. Please, stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Anytime now. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down. Uh oh. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment once I've analyzed the results. Well, that was a bust. I probably should have seen that coming because I'm an idiot. Um, at least can I have a? Where is it? Where is it? Meaning people, I just want the extra insurance for what's going on because this does affect the outcome of the quest, unlike the Okay then. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. You know, I dealt with Nightkin before in the past, and thank God it was only 80 speech, so I was safe. Uh, you know, I've dealt with your kind, and I know you're kind of a bunch of idiots. So, what you do in the wasteland affects all of you mutants here, but you don't didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Uh, not so elite now, are you, you bastards? Doctor! More. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Mm. Eh, it wouldn't even matter if I had the programmer's digest or not, because it's 90 science, not 80. Ah, well. Um... 
You know... What do you want to do? I'm close to the cure. I can feel it. Lily's continued help will give me the last bit of data that I need. Hmm. And uh, what will happen to Lily? Permanent damage to her mind is a certainty. Even the cure won't help her. You know, Lily... The risk to Lily is too great. I can't have her run the test. I don't want to break her mind all more than it already has been. All right. I'll dismantle the prototype to avoid any further incidents with the Nightkin. Now, giving Lily the uh, prototype or whatever it doesn't really affect the quest. It still ends the same way. It's just a moral standing. And I like Lily. She's a good companion. Lily, come with me, honey. And together, we will hopefully get your lips to go over your teeth again because, wow, those things are yellow. And there we go. Pretty much everything in Jacobstown is done, although I do want to go back to that Night Stalker nest to see what's behind that door because that's piqued my interest. But for now, I think it's a good time to end it off because, well, again, we've done everything there is to here. So next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to head back to Nellis after I re-grab Veronica and send Lily back to the Lucky 38. What is it, boy? Huh? What is it? Are you saying I should stab the next person I see? Is there a radioactive twister coming? Uh, do you smell an ambush? Is it gonna rain? Well, at least it's not raining. Did someone fall into a well? Let's go check it out, boy! But we're gonna have to check that out next time! So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're gonna grab Veronica back, we're gonna send Lily to the Lucky 38, I'm gonna go back to Nellis, and we're also gonna check out that well. See you guys next time, later! There's only one thing to cover in today's alternates and extras, and that has to do with the other brains that you need to get Rex. First choice is if you go west of Camp McCarran, you'll come across a raider with a pack of wild dogs who will attack on sight. So kill the pack and the raider if you want, and look for a dog named Violetta. She will have the brain you are looking for. Second choice, and more difficult if you're like me and piss them off, is to go to the Legion at their fort and talk to a legionnaire named Antony. He will let you have the brain if you best his dog in a one-on-one -on -one duel, so kill it, take the brain, and head back to Doc Henry. Now it's time to make a choice. If you give him Violetta's brain, then Rex will get a movement speed increase of 50%. And if you give him Lupa's brain, the Legionnaire's dog, then his damage threshold will be increased by 10%. And that's all there is to it. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you all next time.